Welcome everybody back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. I want to thank every single one of you that's been with me from the start and the newcomers just coming in. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Your beautiful comments, your suggestions, your uplifting messages. I can't thank you enough. Okay, so for most of you who know, I do have a private crochet group on Facebook. You're more than welcome for newcomers that are coming in to join me. As long as you have a profile pic, you're all good to go. I also have a crochet page on Facebook that you can follow me, Instagram and TikTok. Most of my patterns that I put on here, I put up on all my social medias. Make it simple for everyone. Um, in the description box below the video, there is a link to how to slow down the video or turn your closed caption on or even zoom in the stitch that a lot of you still don't know how to operate with that. You can click on the link and it's a two minute video and it helps you tremendously. I don't write patterns as I don't read them. Sorry about my voice, but I'm still pretty uh, bad with a bad flu cold and sinus, of course. So it's a little bit scratchy. I apologize for that. And my voice comes and goes and I have a lot of coughs. So a lot of times I have to pause and restart the video again. So um, for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the time I use a four ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal brands. I am in Europe, in the islands, and I use a 2.75, sometimes a 3, depending on my project, a small one to tuck in, uh, to tuck in of course, uh, uh, the loose ends and a pair of scissors. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. If possible, share. Sharing is caring. Watch a little bit of the commercials. It helps also the video for YouTube to circulate. So that's just part of the channel. This is how you can support the creators. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free. You're not paying anything for it. And hit that bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. All of the links to my social medias will be below. So you can just click there and follow through or be a member at the crochet group. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to make a big runner for the table. Um, as some of you, or most of you are following me, it's for the Nelly set. I have done the bedroom set with the dresser, runner, and also the two hearts doily for the side tables. This is for the kitchen, which is in the same uh, colors, because she has uh, curtains and decors, a lot of bling bling, silver, gray, and black. So, But I'm just going to do... Um, a little bit of the tutorial on how to start the uh, centerpiece here. Uh, I should have kept it from the one for the dresser because it's the same thing, but I deleted everything in order to have space for recording. So very simple. I'm going to use uh, the white. These are four ply, 100% cotton thread. It's just a little uh, beginning, and then I'll continue on with this one because I have the right size. Uh, with this one here, I have... Uh, it's over a meter long, so I'll just count how many rows I have. So this one here, I have 65 rows of the gray and one row, of course, of the black, which is a different stitch, okay? So this is just will be a little sample just to catch up on the beginning of that tutorial. I'm going to do 22 chain stitch, okay? 22 chain stitch. Okay, everyone. So after my 22 chain stitch, I'm going to go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Into my seventh space. I'm going to create three double crochets, one per stitch. two chain and skip again one two and three create your three double crochets again one per stitch make sure you grab that bottom loop 
So you could have both uh, loops here on the hook or your pattern will bend. So creating my second group, two chain, one, two, three, one per stitch. So I've done my third group. Now we have one, two, and three. Doing two chain and creating on my last double uh, chain a double crochet. So exactly how we have here at the beginning. So we have three groups and the chains and double crochet. Turn around. One, two, three chain. Inside of this little to chain space, we're creating the groups again of three double crochet, two chain, and again creating the group. So it's always going to be like this back and forth until the desired length you want. You have to remember that you have to finish the pattern. Um, it's always by twos, right? So odd number in order to have the proper amount of stitch. So that's how big you can go. So you have one row, it's blockage, one row of group. Chain two. Now, don't forget at the end here, you must have those three double crochets. So you must hook it into the third chain here in order for your pattern to fall properly into place. Okay. Actually, I think I did it on the second, not third. So we'll just pull the string a bit here and go into my third chain. Okay, so you will always have one row that's got little squares at the end, one row of the groups. Again, one, two, three for double crochet, and two for chain. Now, if your stitch is too loose, you can do only a four chain instead of five. Okay? Makes it more tidy up. And then continue to do those groups of three double crochet. So always working inside of the two chain space. Now this is perfect on any color that you want to mix, obviously, or one color only. It's up to you. Uh, since this is for Nelly, these are the colors that she wishes and goes with her decoration. So those reasons I'm using the grays white and the blame blame okay and then again one two three chain create your blockage again two chain space and into the next one Now, I'm not going to do too much of this because I already have that already done. This is just to show you how to start off the centerpiece. Okay, so this is just a little sample. So just creating little blocks of three. Make sure on your last one here, you get that corner stitch properly or you'll be in trouble. So just turn your pattern a little bit there where you stitch. Sometimes it's hard to get it in because I have such a tight stitch. So for those reasons, I use a lot of time my little smaller hook. Okay, then turn around. I'm going to do only four chain. I'm not going to do five, but a lot of you probably need to do five. So I have four chain. So normally it would be three, four double crochet and two for space, but I'm okay with four chain. Okay. I don't want those holes to be big at the edges either. So, two chain space and into the next one.
Now, remembering that when you have the desired length you like, you close it off with odd number, okay? Like I mentioned to you, I'm going to have 65, so that's odd number. All right, now I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to work the gray so you can see. much easier to see the gray, right? So basically I'll be doing the black. The black is just three double crochets inside of the uh, little squares. And then the four corners will have a shell of three double crochet, two chain, and three double crochet, okay? So I'm just giving you a sample again, and I'll start here. So let's say this is the corner which it is a corner so do the shell of three double crochet two chain and three double crochet two chain space go into the little blockage and create your group of three double crochet so only on the four corners we're going to have the shell everywhere else we'll have to chain into the corner again. So that's the shell. Okay, now as you see here, nothing is different. It's only shells at the corners and then the groups, okay? So basically you do two chain and group to chain and group to chain we're at the corner so we do the shells so all four corners are shells and that's my little centerpiece then I'm going to continue the tutorial with the other one obviously and thank God that um, my flu is getting in, my sinus is getting more cleared up. I can finally start seeing the end of the tunnel, right? So this is how it is. And then you would just continue on all the way around like we have on here. Shells on the corners and then it's just groups. And then on the other corner, the other two corners, shells, okay? So I'm going to continue with the other one. This makes beautiful color also, right? Okay, everyone. So I'm going to continue now with this one. Coming in with the white. You can start pretty much anywhere, but I'm going to start right here where we have the shell. Double crochet over double crochet. So single to chain, next stitch, double crochet, next stitch, double crochet, into the center here. I'm going to do two double crochet, just because we need to start rounding it up. This will be oval and one per stitch. So where we have our two chain space, we're going to do two double crochet and one per stitch. Only at the corners we do the two, uh, one per stitch and two inside, okay? So again, one per stitch, two inside of the chain space, these are just double crochets. If you turn your closed caption on, pause, read the stitches that I'm calling out. Or go into the description box. There's a little video if you still don't know how to slow down the video or uh, pull it up as full screen and zoom in so you can see the stitch better. So I'm doing stitch over stitch 
here on my shell on the corner I'm doing two double crochet and one per stitch so nothing to it we're just doing double crochet over double crochet all the way around the same way I'll meet you at the end okay I had mentioned in the two chain stitch we're doing two double crochet but not the side ones I'm sorry only two double crochet on the corners shell on the two chain here on the sides it's only one double crochet inside of the two chain I don't know why I said that like that my mind must be somewhere else so one inside only only on the corners we're doing that increase of two inside of the shell space okay only the four corners we're doing the increase in here everywhere else on both sides is one double crochet per uh, space here on the two chain space okay I'm going to do a row of black now again and I'm going to start off where I started that double crochet with double crochet we're going to do a few increases here at the edge so single two chain double crochet double crochet double crochet so we're hitting that two double crochets in the sh in the shell on my second double crochet I'm going to do my first increase two together on the same stitch and then double crochet one two three four so I've done four double crochets alone on my fifth I'm doing an increase of two together so that's my second increase and then again one two three four double crochets one per stitch alone and on the next one on your fifth one two together so now I have three increases one two three four on my fifth one I'm doing an increase so we have increase at the shell here my first increase one then four double crochet alone two together that's my second four double crochet alone two together that's my third four double crochet alone two together that's my fifth one two three four and on my second double crochet on the shell it's my fifth doing the increase so I have five um, six increases one two three four five and six and one per stitch now that's the only increase we're going to do is on both edges the same thing everywhere everywhere else is one per stitch can't almost talk my goodness I'm having a hard time breathing it's much better than before but I'm still struggling a little bit but at least it's getting more clear now getting better thank God okay so we're gonna do that all the way around when you get to the other um, edge so you will have to do it on your second double crochet where the shell is the increase one two three four long increase again one two three four long increase again so you know your increase is pretty much on the second double crochet that we have there okay so I'll meet you at the end then I'm coming back in with the gray okay everyone so I finished the black going in with the gray now I'm gonna do about more or less eight rows of the same thing with the gray okay so nothing to it so I'm gonna start again where we've been starting with double crochet and we're going to do the increases um, only at the edges where we have done so one double crochet per stitch 
and about eight rows I'm going to do more or less I believe you could always advance the video and see how many rows I've done so basically doing double crochet over double crochet on my second double crochet of the increase this is where I'm going to do the increase only at the edges obviously because we have to make that round shape everywhere else is um, just double crochet over double crochet so nothing to it there's no point of recording constantly the same thing for the next row so I have my second increase here the second double crochet I'm going to do two double crochets on the same stitch okay so just one double crochet per stitch and like I said I, you could always advance the video I should probably going to do eight rows so I'll count this as one the first row because we have you know the black white black so first row of the gray is row one okay so I'm just going to continue to do exactly the same thing just double crochet over double crochet and then I'll meet you at the end I believe of my eighth row don't forget you always have to do the increase on the second double crochet only at the edges okay okay everyone so as I usually mention watch ahead of the video before you create anything because I change ideas like change plans so usually I get visions and when I get visions of certain stitches and I like it in my head I'm gonna put it down so I'm working with my nylon bling bling silver black because it's so thin I'm gonna have to use two of them to get the right size okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll two three four times on my hook and you can start anywhere if you'd like I'm gonna come anywhere here and I'm gonna do half double crochets now I'm holding on to my thread because I don't want it to go anywhere into the next stitch half double crochet into the third one half double crochet so now I have three half double crochets I'm going to close them all out together plus one stitch that's here on the hook so that means four loops course this is a nylon this is hard to work with at the beginning once I get this first one going I'm okay so sometimes I have to restart it again to do it which it's okay because it gives you guys an idea okay so let's try that again so we'll try that again completely right want to make sure that I don't <clears throat> it's always harder to... oops I'm not even supposed to twist it that way so three four so I have four on my hook I'm just gonna secure that with my fingers and I'm gonna go back in again and do halves take out two only into the next one take out two into the third one take out two now I'm going to close all three of these plus one on the hook so now I got three loops left actually four with the one I just turned one two three and with this one four so I'm going to take out two I'm going to build a double crochet so I'm going to take out two and I'm going to take out the last one now I have my first double crochet done so I'm going to do a chain to secure that and then I'll tie it as I finish my row when I come around I'm going to come into the second actually there's these two loops here from the first and the second and I'm going to do a double crochet and I'm going to grab the last two loops of my last double crochet here okay and now I have my third 
double crochet. I'm going to do one chain space. I'm going to roll one, two, three times. I have four in my hook. Now it's going to be much easier to do. So take out two, take out two, take out two. I'm going to close all three of them and a loop on the hook. So that's four loops all together. I'm going to do a double crochet, take out two, and take out two. So I have my first double crochet. I'm going to come on the second one here and grab those two loops and do double crochet into my last one and grab the last two loops on my last double crochet. So now I have my second X done. Probably bring it, bring it up a little bit closer. One chain. Three, four on the hook. Next one. Half. Half. And half. So I'm going to take these three out plus one loop on the hook. So taking all three and a loop. That means I have three on the hook. I'm going to do my double crochet. I'm going to come on the second one and grab the two loops here. Okay. And do my double crochet. Coming on my last one. the last double crochet here and grabbing the two loops there. So completed my third X, one chain, two, three, and four. And this is how we're going to proceed all the way around the same way. I think it's going to give a beautiful effect to the pattern. And you know me, I create as I go, as I envision. Sometimes I change ideas, obviously. Double crochet. So now I'm coming on the two hooks here on the second double crochet, doing a double crochet. On to the last one, grabbing the last two hooks there, or um, loops, I should say, and doing my third. Okay. And then one chain and four loops on the hook. So just harder to get the first ones going and then we're, we're good to go. Two, three. Take out the three and a loop on the hook. We have three left. Take out two. Gotta make sure I don't lose any of my stitch because it's two strings and take out the last one coming on that second double crochet take out two take out two coming in my third take out two and take out two okay so i'm going to continue mine and i'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone, so I'm down to my last one, and on my last one, I would have to have one more double crochet to do my last half from the three, but I don't. So I just did it on the same one as the first one I started. It doesn't change anything on the pattern, and then I hook it up top with a slip stitch. I'm going to cut my thread and tie it together with the other piece that I started with, just to make sure nothing comes apart. And leave it a little bit longer here. Okay, everyone. So I've tied in my loose ends. I'm going to come back with the gray. You can pretty much start anywhere, but since I've been starting here, I'll start here at the end. So we're going to do um, one double crochet per each stitch. So I've done my single and my two chain into the next stitch, double crochet into the next one, double crochet 
one double crochet inside of the chain space and one per stitch. Now I'm not doing any increases on this row, I don't think. If I feel that I need to do it at the edge, then I will. That's why it's always important to look ahead of the video because sometimes, you know, changes can come up like, like I just finished mentioning. I'm not planning to do any increase, but it could be possible that we might have to if it's pulling onto the pattern too much. Okay, so one double crochet per stitch. I'm going to continue and see if I need to do two inside of the chain space. Hopefully not, okay? And I'll meet you at the end. So basically this would be, so we did one, two, three, four rows of the gray. This would be five, row six, okay? Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing this row. I'm going to continue to do another row of double crochets and I'm not doing any increase. Okay. So I'm just going to come back in to my single and chain and one per stitch. So very simple, nothing to it, just double crochet over double crochet. There is no increase on this row either. I'm going to continue my row and then I'll meet you at the end. I thought maybe I had to do an increase at the edges, but I don't. And the reason is because this is long enough, wide enough that we don't need to. We still have plenty of space uh, for it. Okay, because this X is, is equivalent like two rows. Okay, and because this is a nylon, it stretches pretty well. So I'm good to go just, you know, double crochet over double crochet. And once I get to the end, I'll uh, come back again. So one per stitch. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished my row, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to cut my thread yet and I'm not going to hook it yet on here. I need to do groups of three double crochets now and I have to have even numbers. So in case I need to add another double crochet or so, I will for that reason, I'll leave it open. So I'll start, I'm going to do it with black because we're almost at the end. So I'm going to start right after. This way I have a chance to fix it if I need it. I'm going to do the slip stitch knot. And I'm going to come in. So I'm going to skip one, two, three. I'm just going to go on the third one here just to make sure I have everything right. I'm going to do my single end my two chain for double crochet. And I'm going to do three double crochets total, one per stitch, two chain. And I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm going to come in the third one again. And this is how I'm going to work all the way around, just creating these groups of three double crochet. Two chain, one, skip one, two, into the third one. Two chain, skip one, two, into the third one. And just repeat all the way around. One, two, into the third one. For that reason, that's why I'm not cutting the thread yet on the gray because I didn't count the stitch, so I don't know if I have the right amount. If I need to do an increase, well, I have a chance to do it here while it's still open. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do my groups and I'll meet you at the end. We have to have even numbers. 
Okay, everyone. So I've counted my groups. So far, I have 105. So I need even numbers. I'll be missing only one double crochet here. So I'm going to add two on this last one. Well, I'm two together. I should say I'm not adding two double crochets. It's just adding one on the same space. Okay, now I can cut my thread. And then tuck in, of course. So I have 105 groups. I've done my two chain. One, two, three. Do my 106th group. I'm going to recount again just to make sure that we're not missing. And then two chain, then I'd have one, two, and it's on the third one. So basically, I should have 106 groups. I'm just going to tie in here. But I'm going to recount and come back to you. Okay, everyone. So I've counted twice. We have 196 groups of three double crochet and not 106. I made a mistake by calling out the, the amount. 96 groups. I'm coming back in with my silver. And you can start pretty much anywhere. And I'm going to do um, groups of sh uh, groups shells, I should say. Single and uh, two chain for double crochet and double crochet. Chain two. Again, two double crochet. Okay, we're not making any chain space going directly into the next one and creating those shells again of two double crochet. and two chains uh, between it, directly into the next. I thought I was almost done, but I had to make a little bit of adjustment still so it doesn't, um, by adding another row or two, so it doesn't pull on the pattern. Okay, so just creating these shells. Then I'm cutting my thread, coming back in uh, with the black and going to create these groups again. So shells of two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. Okay, we're gonna do this all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished all my shells. You can start anywhere. I'm going to use this bling bling just because it's almost at the end and I'd like to complement the rest of my pattern with it. So we're going to build again the groups here of three double crochet like we did down here. So I'm going to start by a single and I'll tie it at the end when I come around it and two chain. So we're just building groups of three double crochet. And I'm using two strands because this thread is thin, as I've mentioned. I'm gonna do two chain, come back into the next one and create the groups. That's all we have to do all the way around. Then I'm cutting my thread and I'm going uh, to complete the next few rows, which is almost there to complete the pattern in white, I believe. Hopefully I like it. If not, then I'll just go back into the gray. But it should be in white because I'd like to have another row white before finishing. Okay, so groups of three double crochet, two chain space between them. Okay, everyone. So I finished all my little squares all the way around. And of course, coming to the edge, it tends to turn a bit, as you can see here, because this is a nylon thread, so it's pulling. I could have done a three chain, but I didn't want to. It will get fixed now with this row coming in. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, so you can start anywhere. I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to do um, single, 
hold my thread, try to tuck it in into chain. So that's my first double crochet. And double crochet. So I'll be uh, building like shells if you want to put it that way. I'm going to see if I'm going to do eight or nine because this is a nylon. Uh, I probably have to do a nine double crochet shell. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Try to see with eight. I'm not sure. One chain into the next one and doing a double crochet. One chain into the next one and do my eight double crochet shells. See if this works. If not, if you find that it's uh, pulling too much on your pattern, you can do a nine double crochet. It does not change anything on the pattern. I'm going to try to see if it works this way. If it does, fine. If not, I'll just add another double crochet. Two, four, six, seven, and eight. One chain. Going into the next one, double crochet. One chain into the next one and do my eight double crochet. Now I will uh, see better on my curve here at the edge if it lies straight. If it doesn't, then I'll add more double crochet. Two, four, six, seven, and eight. One chain into the next one. Double crochet, one chain into the next one, and proceed again with your um, eight double crochets. Like I said, if you find that it's pulling too much on the pattern, meaning like this, then you need to add more double crochets. If you're okay with it, if it, if it lies straight, then we're okay. I will see as I get to the edge here. If I need to add nine, I'll add nine at the edge, or ten. It doesn't matter, really. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row and I'll let you know at the end if I had to add 9 or 10 to the edge. Okay everyone, so I finished my row and what I did was, because it had a tendency to turn a little bit, if I stretch and once I block it, I usually spray block my patterns with a little bottle of laundry softener and a bit of water spray it well, stretch it with my hands, and light steam iron it over it as I stretch, and everything falls into place perfect. Okay, so it's turning a bit, which is okay. It's not a biggie because once I lay it, it will go once I spray it. So I did eight of these here at the edge, starting from the corner. I didn't really do a much of a count, but from the corners here, I did eight of them with nine double crochets just to make sure on both sides, of course, both edges, just to make sure it doesn't pull too much. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to go up one, two, three for double crochet, and one more for space into the next double crochet. Double crochet, one chain space into the next one. Double crochet, one chain into the next one. That's all we're going to do with this row. And then I have the last row, the peacock, coming up next. So one double crochet, one chain. One per stitch, one chain space. I'm not going to do any chain space here. I'm going to go directly and do a single. And again, come in and do my double crochet on the next one, one chain, and double crochet, one chain, and double crochet. So very simple, nothing to it. Once you get to where we have that double crochet alone, it's a single, no chain space in between motives. And we have one more row left, which is the picot, and sort of like a next design on the pattern. So I'm on the last one and single and then again. So very simple. This is going to help out to uh, these edges to uh, go more flat because it puts more weight on it also. So 
So the inspire of this is myself. I've uh, checked a few patterns of mine and did a little bit of mix, a little bit of of a doily pattern into here, another runner into here. So for that reason, I created this way. Just pretty much mixed a little bit of different patterns I had to outcome this pattern. I absolutely loved it. I hope you guys did too. So I'm going to finish my row, cut my thread, then come back in with the bling bling for the peacocks now at the last row. Okay, everyone, as you see, I've done that row and it pretty much came flat already. So imagine when I do block it, everything will be nice and straight. So I'm going to come in with my last row. I'm going to start here on the side. I'm leaving a little bit of that string so I can tie it at the end because this is the nylon. It's kind of hard to tuck it in. It will come out of place. So I want to make sure that everything's good. So I'm going to come in. I'm only using one, one uh, strand or... Uh, I'm not using two strings because I don't need to. So single, one, two, and three. Now for this first one, I'm coming in the center of the single because it's always harder to get this first one in. On top of the next double crochet with the single, one, two, and three. Now I'm going to come behind the single. All of them will be like this now and close in with the single. Uh, much easier, faster, and I find it really pretty. One, two, and three. Behind that single, and close my peacock with single. So I'm gonna continue to do this, and all of them the same way. Okay, so very simple. I'm gonna continue to do until the last double crochet. So I've reached the last double crochet, and on the last double crochet, we don't do peacock. I'm going to do a triple, so I'm going to roll twice on my hook, and we're working inside of these two double crochets only, okay? So I'm going to come from in and out on that first double crochet. I'm going to stretch my thread, take out once, take out twice, take out three times. Turn twice on your hook again. Now into the next motive. We're only working inside of these two double crochets. From out to in. I'm going to come in on the double crochet here. I'm going to stretch my thread. We don't want it to be pulling, so we want to stretch it. And do a triple. Coming on top of that first double crochet again from the motive, from the shell. And again, single, one, two, three, come from behind that single, and close it with a single into the next double crochet. So it's just a repeat now of the same way. And my thread is stuck everywhere here. And it's getting heavier. One, two, and three from behind and single into the next one. One, two, three chain from behind and single. So I'm going to show you just one more time. We're going to do the triple inside of that one. So we're only working inside of the double crochets here. Okay. So again, I've reached my last double crochet. I'm going to turn twice on my hook. So I have three loops on my hook coming from in out of course this nylon uh, slips right so gotta make sure I don't grab anything else here stretch take out two take out two and the last two turn twice on your hook and come in again on the next one from outside in take out two, take out two, and the last two. And repeat everything again the same way. This is what we're going to do all the way to the end. One, two, three. Make sure that you give it a good stretch. We don't want the pattern to pull. If you find that it's pulling with just two um, turns of the triple on the hook, then do three to get enough length 
on it okay so I'll meet you I'll meet you nothing <laughs> I'm pretty much done with it I will have a little video at the end once I block it and I'll put it on top of my table give you the measurements I hope you guys enjoyed it I really love this pattern I loved uh, the way it turned out thank you Jesus for you know the imagination of creation um, thanks to him I'm able to create things like this I mean without him of course impossible um, I send you much love, much hugs, and thank you for your prayers for myself and my family. I send lots of prayers uh, out to you and to yours. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.